fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT Channel 22 News, Saturday morning. Craft beer and winemakers continue to spring up here in our area, and soon Niles, Michigan, is going to showcase some of these local business owners at its first ever craft brew and wine festival. I'm with Tiana Weller from the Four Flags Area Chamber of Commerce. You're the president and CEO, and this is kind of a big event. When is this? It's exciting. It's this Friday, okay. so the 25th, okay. and from 3 to 9 p.m. at the Riverfront Amphitheater in downtown Niles. Awesome. So. And it is, it's called, what, what's it actually called? The it's the Niles Craft Brew and Wine Festival. Where did this Pretty idea simple. come from? Yeah, I know. It, <laughs> the name says it all. It does. Uh, it does. Where did this idea come from? Well, we, when I first started at the chamber, we surveyed members to find out what they wanted. And one of the things that came out from the survey was that they wanted more events at the amphitheater. We have a beautiful riverfront front there. Not enough people know about it or come to be a part of it. So we thought a craft brew, you know, not that I drink all the time, but <laughs> I like craft brew and wine. It would be a great way to get some sampling and tasting and get people to enjoy some of the local craft brew and wineries in the area. And there really are some great ones. There are. There are. It's fun. You've kind of brought with you some of the companies, some of the, the types of things you're going to see at the festival. Right. Yeah, these are I already drank these. Yeah. So I didn't <laughs> bring you did it this morning. <laughs> I, yeah. I've been, I've been prior, I've got to make sure it's all good. So, yeah. Um, these are, we have white uh, pine that is out of St. Joe, mm -hmm. uh, Lehman's Orchard. Um, this is actually St. Julian's. The liveries in Bitten Harbor, um, they, I stopped there last night to get a growler because, you know, it's yeah. a good thing to do on a yeah. Friday night. Oh, yeah. Especially um, when and it's then, nice weather. Yeah. And Bells will be here. We have Tabor Hill in the box here. They didn't give me bottles, but. <laughs> But still, I mean, this is a lot of really good stuff, and people don't realize how much good uh, wine and beer is really made in this we area. We do. It really, um, it's really expanded the area. I have lots of good friends that own wineries, um, Contessa, Carmel Vista, a lot of the different ones in the Coloma, um, the region around Baroda and all over the place. So it's yeah. just an exciting time to be able to bring all those guys together and let people in Niles see what great things we have in the area. Okay, so again, coming up on Friday, Yes. Uh, what time does it start and when do you get tickets? Three. Okay. Um, three to nine. Tickets can be purchased at NilesBrewFest.com okay. or at NilesMI.com, which is our website. And like the graphic says right there, you're expecting, what, a thousand plus people? Yes. We have 2,000 tickets and 2,000 glasses, so hopefully we won't run out, yeah. but we're hoping to have a great crowd. And uh, proceeds, some of them go to a good cause. Yeah, well, they will be going to the chamber, but also we're working with the Nile Service League yeah. and some of the other organizations and helping them out as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming this morning. Tiana Weller with the Chamber of Commerce. Thank uh, you. Talking about the Niles Craft Brew and Wine Festival yeah. coming up on Friday. Nice to meet you, Kristen. And we put Ed in charge of the weather, right? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> we're crossing our fingers. We're having a good one this weekend, so maybe it'll carry over. That would be great. Thank All right. you.